A computer programmer um, on Wall Street in, in America. I don't do that anymore though. Where do you work now? I don't. I help people for free. Um, what is the purpose of this aero trip? This, the purpose of this is to bring the awareness of the flat earth um, to, to, to people in Europe. We've been, we've, been told, we've been told lies about where we live for the, for the last 500 years and it's about time that people knew, you know, knew the truth. But why do you think scientists lie about it? Um, scientists per se don't lie. They've been indoctrinated the same way that we all have into believing this, you know, this world view. Right? And uh, you know, it's, been, 
It's like uh, lies on lies on, on, upon lies upon lies, and until it looks like the truth. This is a flat, motionless earth. Um, there is a creator, and uh, they're desperate to hide that information. If the earth actually were flat, the sun's rays would always come in at the same angle, meaning that all countries would all experience the same seasons, but that's not the case. No, but, but if, we, if we have a sun that's small and close, yeah, what would happen? Imagine you have a brick wall yeah, and it's dark and you have a light bulb and you put the light bulb close to the wall. Yeah, you get a pool of light only in one place in the wall, but over here it's going to be dark. That's, that's what we're talking about. All right, but why do you care so much about the shape of the Earth? Uh, well, for one thing, um, NASA makes, uh, what, 56 million every single day, takes that from, from the pockets of Americans. Yeah, you're paying for, for lies. Uh, if you dig a hole on the bottom of the sea, mm -hmm. will the water run out? <laughs> <laughs> if I dig a hole at the bottom of the sea, will the water run out? No, we're, that's not the cosmology that we live in here. Where will this water go then? It won't go anywhere. Why, if there's a hole through the earth? <laughs> Where to? <laughs> the, you're, the, the question you're asking, right, if you look at in in scientific terms, is what's on the other side of the flat earth? Yeah, okay. what is there? Right, well, it's the same answer as what's on the other side of the universe. It can't be more space because that's more universe, so it's got to be something else. Have you been on the edge of the earth? No, um, apparently nobody can actually go to the edge. It's a, a thing called the Antarctic Treaty. Yeah, it was signed by all the uh, the members of the United Nations that tell you 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 are not allowed independently to go past the 60th south parallel. Are other planets flat too? Well, what are other planets? Yeah, we're we're told that they're rocky places like here, yeah, out there, but they're they're not. They're lights in the sky. Is it possible to fall off uh, from the edge of the Earth? Well, no, if you can't reach it. Right? When, you, when you go to Antarctica, which we say is the actual rim around the, uh, you know, the, the Earth, you, you encounter 200 foot walls of ice, yeah? followed by 300 miles of ice plain, and then two mile high mountains. And beyond that, nobody knows, apart from maybe Admiral Byrd, but yeah, we, nobody really knows, because you can't get there. You can't go by yourself to Antarctica. But how can you all afford being on this tour? Do you get some funding? We managed to get funding. We did a, uh, a tour-a-thon where we, um, we had a kind of relay of videos that people could follow and we asked people to, uh, to donate to us and we're still asking people to donate to us. So people donate and that's the funding for your yes. tour right now? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Saying that, there, there are happening a couple of individuals who have gone above and beyond and they're, you know, some, some people are risking a lot just to do this. So this is what we see in the world, yeah? 